told me that love was only in the movies that don't exist in real life these days, no. But you showed me if I only just find the faith I need to believe. If anything is possible, if you want it bad enough, no, this guy ain't too high. Test your limits. Feel unstoppable, incredible. Almost there, I can see I'm so ready. Yes. couple of hours since I found out the news. Um, the news is the gender of uh, my third and final pregnancy, um, my third child, and I'm so excited because um, I just have a lot of things to say and to share and um, I just took a couple of hours just to kind of like take it all in, freshen up a little bit and now I wanted to get on the camera and kind of say something to you guys and I'm not exactly sure if this is going to end up making it on any of our videos on our channel but I just wanted to you know say some words say some things of how I'm feeling and kind of explain um some things that maybe you guys have been wondering and a lot of you guys have been here for so long that I feel like it's only right to um to share how I feel so we started filming four years ago and it's been a roller coaster. It's definitely been a ride. Um, we've shared very, very special moments on the internet with you guys. Um, things that came natural, things that just happened. I mean, there was a point where we were filming almost every day and um, it wasn't ever about anything else other than just doing what we were doing, going into the motions and just organically, sharing certain things filming certain things and so for my second pregnancy which was um the more public pregnancy my first one wasn't public we weren't even on youtube at the time but for my second pregnancy um at the time we were filming all the time and so i wanted to get my reaction on camera and it was something that just came natural it's really just us living in the moment um as much as we can and then also trying to capture very special moments. And so for my second pregnancy, although I don't regret any of it and it was beautiful and it was amazing, I had a lot of stress um, and a lot of things didn't go as planned. And so by that happening, I found that I lost a lot of the magic and I feel like the more you share, the, la the less valuable it becomes. And so I just felt like with this pregnancy, for me to just be the healthiest that I could be and just to be, just to, for my sanity, just to feel like, oh my God, I have this information about myself and my life and I just wanna keep it to myself for as long as I can. And I can't wait to finally, finally be able to embrace it and share it with the world and the people that love me the most. But I really wanted to enjoy the moment to myself and embrace it um, internally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. And so um, now that I'm finally sharing it with you guys and I'm so excited because um, 
I want to embrace him, you know? Pregnancy is a beautiful moment. It's empowering. And especially because it's my last one, I don't want to hide anymore. I just want to be free and just, it's, it's my favorite time is to be pregnant. I'm so excited and I'm so happy that it's a boy. And I knew it was going to be a boy. I just knew it. I already knew it's just like, it's just a feeling that I had and I've had it my whole life. I knew it was going to have three kids and I knew that the last one would be my son. And, um, I feel very empowered right now and I feel very strong and I feel very enlightened and I feel like he's coming at a perfect time. I did not plan for him to come. Um, that's a whole other video, but I did not plan for him to come. He's God given. He's what I prayed for. He's what I dreamt of. He's, he makes me feel like strong. Like I feel like I can handle anything. It's like the craziest feeling. And um, I can't wait to, to tell Austin, like he is gonna be so happy to hear that he's having a son. And I've been calling the baby him since I found out a couple months ago, which is so funny. I just knew, um, but at the end of the day, it's like, you know, it's either one or the other. So it wasn't confirmed yet, but today finally I get to surprise him. So that's what I'm gonna do. Um, just to let you guys know earlier when I filmed the, when I got the call, I wanted to cry my eyes out. Like I just, it, it, had I not been holding the camera, which is what I'm making this video for, had I not been holding, I probably would have, I probably would have started crying like crazy and just, and you know, I still wanted to film it for you guys. I still wanted to get the reaction. I wanted to cry my eyes out, but I didn't because Austin was in the room. So I didn't want to walk in and just like give it away or just, I wanted to have a poker face, like straight poker face. So when I walked in, the only thing that I said was, wow, life is crazy. He's like, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Like, let's do, tell me later. Like figure it out, plan it out with my mom. So I called his mom. I already called her. She's coming over in the next couple hours. So, she thought of something really cute. Now I'm rambling and now it's probably so freaking long and I'm sorry, but I love you guys and thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting us from day one. Thank you for everything. And now it's finally, <laughs> it's finally time to share the news with Austin. This is, I'm telling you, this is as real as it gets. Um, so yeah, let's go see what he says. See you in a second. <laughs> Oh, I know. I'm nervous. I'm alone. Ah! What's going on? Let's do it in the bathroom. Let's do what? Ah! What are we doing? All right, so and why are you there. holding a random Jamba juice in your hand? Sit right there. Oh all my right. god. So, we all know you like Jamba juice. Okay. Okay. You like your little white gummies. Yes. Put tape around it. Okay, for what? You're gonna drink this. You're probably gonna get a brain freeze, but it's okay. okay. And in the middle, there's a little cup, little baby cup, with the color of the gender. Oh. Okay? I'm scared. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. So, just so everyone knows, I told Catherine, once she found the gender, I didn't want to know unless she surprised me in a creative way. Yes. So, I just didn't want her to find out and be like, this is what we're having. Like, it's too boring. Yeah. So, I want her to surprise me in a creative way, and this is her creative way. So I'm very excited. Okay. And I'm nervous at the same time. Okay. It's it's nerve-wracking because like this is probably like our last kid. Uh-huh. And so I don't know how to feel like this is the last one. Most likely. Drink up. We can talk and drink, you know that, right? Take a break. I'm gonna brain freeze. I know. I was thinking that too. There's like ice cream in here or something. It's, it's colder than a regular drama juice. What's in here? <laughs> Come on! Drink! You're about to find out! Something slow no! Just freaking drink it already! So Come on! What do you think it is? What do you think? I have no idea. What do you think? You gotta lean more towards something. Like, Boy or girl? Have, Come on. I have two girls. I have all girls. Uh huh. Uh huh. I just feel like if I don't know. I 
What? 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 Just say it. I don't know, like. Just say whatever you feel. Have all girls would be me. Like it just would. Uh huh. Okay. But at the same time, too, like, like, obviously, like, I want a boy. Mm hmm. But something's telling me, like, I'm leaning towards a girl just because <laughs> I don't know. I feel like God just wants me to be around all the girls. Mm hmm. Just because it's, it's not, you know, Just drink it. Like just girls. drink. Just drink. It's not moving. I swear <laughs> to God. I've been drinking this for five minutes. <laughs> There's nothing that's up. It's literally just a drink with a little cup inside. I'm sorry, this is hard to do. You thought this idea. Your mom? Oh my God. She must be looking on the internet. <laughs> no, no, no. She made it up. <coughs> this is hard to do. Let me say, I'm sorry. Brain hurts. <laughs> oh. oh, you love the baby. Give kiss. Kiss. Oh. You want a baby brother? Yeah. yeah. Dang, I didn't know that. I didn't know you wanted a baby brother. Are you gonna tell him to go night night? Yeah. Night night. Go night night. Is your baby brother going night night? So, so how come you don't want a baby sister? Cause you want to be the only girl. You want to be the only girl? Oh, she's putting him to sleep. Why you don't want a baby sister because you're the only girl and you want to be spoiled, huh? <laughs> Is that why? Is that why? <laughs> is that why? Yeah, it is. Don't lie. Don't lie. Rick, come on, you're about to find out. Maybe I'm gonna tap I know, but you're about to find it's out. Not really okay, let me try, let me try. I swear, look, you drink it, it's not going down. It's cold on, yeah. <laughs> It does taste like chocolate. It does. What they do to it. So what's that? <laughs> what if this is like a major fail? <laughs> oh, what's gone? Like the drink is gone, right? That's just like ice now? Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Okay, you wanna open it? Oh god. You gonna open it? Oh god. Life is crazy. Are you serious? No, don't fuck with me. No, it's really. Is it real? Please, is it really real? It is. Oh my god. What the fuck? Oh my god. God is so beautiful. What are the odds? Two girls at the end, the last one's a boy. Start tearing up. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, boy. I told you. I told you. Yo. I told you. Come on, let's go see your mom. Come, baby. Like, you don't understand, like, 
I really felt like I was gonna have a girl, and like I would've been the happiest dad in the world. Like my girls are everything, and like I feel like having girls is like the best thing in the world. But just like as a dad and being a father, you want to have like that boy, obviously. And now that like I'm able to have the best of both worlds, like it doesn't get any better than this. Holy shit! Like this is really happening. Oh my god. I told you. I told you. I told you. I told What are we gonna do? You knew it too. How are we gonna do? We don't even know what to do with a boy. You knew it the whole time. I know, I you told you. Like I told you from the Before we even had it. Yeah. Oh, shit. There's a lot for me right now. Like, I wanna celebrate. Me too. I wanna tell the world. <laughs> I want to go shopping for him tonight. Come, let's go. Is everything still open? No. <laughs> Mama. No, come on. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Baby, run me. What are the odds of that? Baby, run me. Catherine, run me. I'm blown away right now. Two girls and the last kid's a boy? Like, what? Like, that timing is insane. It's, it's God. Blessed. Blessed. I guess you know this. What must be the boy? Huh? No. That's really Lily, baby, brandy. Yay, Lily! <laughs> what are the odds Congrats! Of that? Oh, I don't know, but you got it. Oh my God. <laughs> the best of both worlds: two girls yeah. and a boy. That's it nice. doesn't get much better than that. Oh my goodness! You have you have a present for Daddy? Oh, that's so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's gonna come out looking just like you. Just like you. I already had a vision of him. Did you? I had a vision of him. He looked just like Austin. Really? Yeah. Curly hair. Just cute. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Curly hair. Curly hair. Really? Curly hair. Dimples. Curlier than Alan. Yeah. Dimples. Yes. So when you get your hair done, he's big get eyes. Your hair done. Yeah, look at the same hair color. <laughs> in my in my vision, I saw I saw him for like like a second. It was like a flash, and I just I don't know. I just saw yeah, his I gotta face. Go to the Gucci store. Give him a little outfit when he comes out. <laughs> Oh my god, with some drip, give him a necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Get his earrings. He's gonna be nice. Yeah. You have a baby brother. You gonna take care of him? You Are right? you gonna change his diapers? Yeah. You gonna take care of him, Lele? Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Nicole went from no baby. This is just the beginning. This is his first pair of shoes. In my son's closet. Well, it looks like we can use the name that we've always been wanting to use. Yep. <laughs> Should we tell this him? This is day one. No, not yet. Hold up, Ace family. We about to go upstairs and make sure this shit is legit. Make sure it's not a prank. We gotta make sure I ain't colorblind. Let's really check this cup and make sure I saw what I saw. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. <gasps> that's crazy. What? <laughs> Yo. So it's official. Oh shit, yeah, you saw it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, uh, I got so much to say. I don't know. Like, I honestly feel like when we had Elle, the first time we were pregnant, mm -hmm. we were pregnant, I was hoping for a boy. Like, I really wanted a boy, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like all guys, when they have a kid, like their first kid, obviously, they want a boy, right? Not everyone, but a lot I feel, of them. I think so, for the most part, I think you want a boy. <laughs> no one's saying, I want a girl, I want a girl, right? But after having L, I was like the happiest guy in the world. Like, I honestly feel like I've changed so much. And like, I don't know, it just has made me like a different person, just all the way around. And I couldn't like imagine having a boy after having L, like it was just like, damn, like having a girl is literally like the best thing in the world. Like, I keep hearing moms, like usually moms say that girls are like the easiest, like they're the best ever. But like now experiencing L when we had L, I was like, yo, this is like the best feeling ever. Like, like I don't mind not having a boy. I can never have a boy and I'll be good. Like I always tell myself, I don't care about having a boy anymore because L proved to me that like girls are the best ever mm -hmm. and like then you got pregnant again and I was like 
I didn't have that same thought back when you first were pregnant. I wasn't saying like, oh yeah, like I want a boy. It was just like, whatever happens, happens. And so then, ended up happening, us having another girl. I had two girls in my life. Well, three, including you, and I was like, damn, like, this is like, I didn't know anything else. Like, this is like, the, to me, it was like the best thing ever. And I didn't know anything else, and I was just like, I'll be happy if we don't have another kid after this. Or if we do have one, it's a girl, and like, it is what it is. Like, I'm gonna have all girls, and like, I'm the happiest dad in the world having like all these. So, girls. you're mentally ready for just. So, like, I was mentally ready for literally any and everything, but. For some reason, I felt like I was gonna have another girl just because, like I said, I just feel like God has blessed me with girls in my life, so why not bless me with another one? But at the same time, I was like, yo, like, in the perfect world, he would give me a boy, and like, we would end off, end it by having a boy. But it was a small percentage, like, in my head, I was like, yo, it's only a small percentage that it could happen, mm -hmm. right? And usually with me, you know how I am, like, I really like, speak things into like existence and I like really like dream about shit I talk about it all the time I really think about it all the time but I wasn't doing that for the boy because like like I said it didn't it wasn't that big of a deal to me but then now like seeing this I'm like and like they always say that like, when you're first kid like you're always the people are always scared to have another kid just because you don't think you're gonna love them just as much as the first kid and like we went through that stage with like dang like have another kid are we gonna love her? a lay just as much as like L mm -hmm. and like we do and like they're, they're, just, they're just different they're just but different. you love them they're the same different. yeah and like L even though like she's like more of a mommy's girl and like I'm like I have a different connection that I have with L than I have with Alea like Alea is more of a mom, uh, daddy's girl right mm -hmm. but me and L like our chemistry is like unmatched like it's like mm -hmm. daddy dog daughter like like we got to know a lot like anything we do is like we connect on different levels as far as like like obsessed and always with someone <laughs> you and Elle have that connection and then like me and Alea have that connection where we're just like unseverable and he's obsessed with you now it's like the boy it's interesting to see like what happens the boy plays out like if it was a girl like I'll be just as happy but like I say everything happens for a reason and God has blessed us with a boy for a reason like I can't wait till it comes I don't know the fact that he has two Beautiful big sisters. Oh, he has such a beautiful life. We're having a boy. Come here. Having a boy. Come here, let me talk to him. Oh, baby boy in my belly. Come here, let me talk to him. I love him already. Let me talk to him. Baby. Come here, Elle, can you hold the camera real so quick? Baby brother, come El, can you hold the camera for Dada? Hold the camera. Here. Hey, <laughs> she wants to lay with me too. I want to talk to him. Yeah. We just talked to him out. I knew you were in there the whole time. We knew it was a boy. Yeah, we did. What if, What has Mama been saying this whole time? I've been saying baby brother. Yeah. Where's his head? Where is it? Oh, L knows where his head is. Let me kiss his head. I love you in there. <gasps> what? Did he move? Wait. No. no. <laughs> Yo. That was me. I went, like when I breathe. I love you, son. These crazy little girls right here have taken up all my heart, but I still got some room in there for him. I will save him room just in case. <laughs> tell them. <coughs> tell them you want to film. What are you going to tell them? <laughs> what are you going to tell them? You happy you having a baby brother? You happy? Yeah. 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 You happy? Yeah. Oh wow! You gonna send him a message? This is a message for him, so you can see when he comes out. Here, talk to him. Say I love you. Give him a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh, oh, oh! I love you. I love you. You're such a sweet baby. I'm gonna show him this when he comes. I'm gonna show him. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, 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 I think we got one more gift. Here it is. Who is this for? For me? Or for? For you know who. Oh, for I know who. Okay. 
him. <laughs> Look, Ryan. <laughs> With the short. Yeah, Aww. one more. You know, little homie, you gotta come out fresh. <laughs> Who's that for, Lele? <laughs> Who's that for, Lele Marie? Is that for baby brother? Oh. <laughs>